Now, finding the nth roots of unity is all well and good, but it would be nice if we could find the nth roots of any complex number. Okay, so we're going to look at the general equation z to the n equals a, where z and a are complex. Okay, so um, let's set this up uh, where z is equal to r times cosine theta plus i sine theta. And we'll let a be, um, well, s. Uh, cosine phi plus i sine phi. Okay, so what we would be saying then is that we would have um, r, well, all of this to the power of n, so r to the n cosine theta plus i sine uh, theta to the power of n is equal to s cosine phi plus i sine phi. OK? Now, um, in order for the magnitude of the left-hand side to be equal to the magnitude of the right-hand side, that must mean that r to the n must be equal to s. So r to the n must be equal to s. And the cosine theta plus i sine theta to the n must be equal to cosine phi plus i sine phi. Now, using De Moivre's theorem, we can bring that n in and write that as cosine of n theta plus i sine n theta must be equal to cosine of phi plus i sine phi. OK. Now, r to the n equals s. OK. Now, remember, these are real, OK? So r must be equal to uh, the nth root of s, so s to the power of 1 over n. And that's unique, OK? So um, we know that the uh, modulus of z must be s to the n, uh, s to the 1 over n, rather. So the modulus of z must be equal to s to the power of 1 over n. Right. Um, now, with this, we can then say that the arguments must be the same. The argument of the left-hand side must be equal to the argument of the right-hand side. Okay. Now, if that is the case, then we can't just say that n theta must be equal to phi. Okay. Because of the cyclic nature of this, um, we could have this as... Uh, phi, but what about phi plus 2 pi, OK? Because if you just rotate it round by 2 pi, then you get back to where you started. The argument's still going to be the same. So actually, this has got to be equal to phi plus some multiple of 2 pi, where k is an integer. So the argument of z must be equal to uh, the theta, which is equal to phi plus 2 pi k over n. OK, and you're going to get um, n unique roots um, where k is equal to 0, 1, 2, dot, 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 up to n minus 1. OK? And so that gives you the modulus and argument of our roots. So if you're going to write it back into this form, so z must be equal to s to the power of 1 over n um, times cosine of phi plus 2 pi k over n plus i sine phi plus 2 pi k over n, where k is 0, 1, 2, up to n minus 1. OK? And so they are the roots of this general equation, z to the n is equal to a.